What's up, my brothers? Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Hey, so in today's video, we're going to talk about how to judo randori for OGs, right? So if you're an older guy um, starting judo, then this is the approach I would take. So today, what I'm going to show you guys is a video of me uh, doing some randori with um, uh, one of my one of my teammates, one of my buddies, and he's a very high level black belt. And he's a lot heavier than me. He's about 181, about 80 kilos right now. So I think that's about, you have to multiply it by, let's see now, 2.2. I just want to calculate this to give you guys the, the right um, numbers. So 176, 176 pounds. Uh, me, guys, I'm 150 pounds. So we're talking about a 26 pound difference. And it's not fat. This guy is pure muscles, pure, pure muscles. Like if he takes off his gi, holy, you know, it's mind blowing. He's huge now, you know, it's not 176, but he doesn't have any body fat, like very little. I think he's, he's probably at 10. Yeah. At most 10, if not a little bit less and he's huge. Okay. So 26 pounds of muscle. It's a huge difference. People don't realize that. And they, they seen me, get thrown by this guy a lot. Um, but guys, he has 26 pounds of not like 26 pounds of muscle over me. And on top of that, uh, a lot more time um, under his belt doing judo. So I'm going to show you guys the video. But before I show you the video, and you know, I'll, I'll narrate it, of course, so it's uh, so you guys don't fall asleep. And there's a little bit of, of music in the background. That's how we roll at the Triton uh, Triton judo performance, right? It's uh, it's not uh, it's not as formal as um, other clubs are generally in judo. In judo, it's pretty normally it's pretty pretty traditional, you know. So, which is a good thing. Uh, I started that way, and at this point, like ah, uh, you know, it, it's cool. But I, I like where I am. I like the the very casual, relaxed approach. I mean, I always do. I always bow and shit like that when it comes to, uh, you know, getting on and off the tatami before the fight, after the fight. Um, I mean, the fight, Randori, which stands for free practice, by the way, guys. Okay, so a couple of things that I want to point out before I start this video. And I'll point it out again during the video. But if I mention it first, you guys are going to, you're going to notice it um, faster, right? So you're going to have to notice the pace. When you do Randori, Randori isn't isn't Shiai. Shiai is competition. You're really trying to win. You're really trying hard and you're sticking to what you're good at. You're not trying anything new. You're not experimenting. You're not the uh, lackly daisy, just you know, feeling the person out all that much. You know, it's really you're you're going for it. You're going to win. So it's very different. Randori, it's free practice. But what are you practicing for? You're practicing to get better at judo. So that means you're practicing to develop your skill. So when you practice to develop your skill, if that's the mindset behind it, which I think you should have when you do Randori, then you're not, there's certain things that you have to, to understand is that you're not going all that hard. Okay. And that's, and if you're not going that hard, then it allows you to be more relaxed, um, to experiment, to try different things, right. To think a little bit while you're in the in the in your exchanges okay and you have to get out of your head that you have to win obviously like you don't just let yourself get thrown but even if you do because you tried something and you got caught who cares it's randori right it's that's this is where you're supposed to make your mistakes this is where you're supposed to fall on your ass all the time when you go in competition obviously different story Right, so you're you're gonna notice the pace. Like we go a lot, we're a lot less intense. You know, there's moments where we have to use our strength, yes, but it's a lot less intense. The pace of it, we're not going that fast. We're not really just um, pedal to the metal, you know, and just gassing it and just going full throttle. We're not. We're taking our time. We're breathing, and that's the way you have to approach it. Also, you guys have to remember that if you approach it this way, the person in front of you, your your partner is going to they usually adapt to that as well unless they're 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 dicks but you know they're not going to uh um uh reciprocate by being 
going intense. Like if you're not going intense, they're not going to go intense. So the pace, right? Notice the pace. And of course, I talked about the intensity. Like it's slower. Okay, the intensity we're not using as as um, as much power, as much force. It's a chess match. We're playing. We're playing. And GSP said this uh, in one of his videos, where he's like, he likes to ask people, "Hey, would you like to play with me?" Right? When he's asking them to do some some sparring, because sometimes when you know people you ask them to spar, they think it's a fight, and then now you're fighting, and then nobody you know, really gets much out of it. And it's not good because you're, you're, you're there to, to develop skill, not to get busted up. Right. So you have to learn how to play. It's a chess match. And, you know, so you could take your time, you could play, you could try things, you know, and you're going to notice it's not a brawl. Right. So that comes back a little bit to, you know, the intensity factor. It's, we're not, we're not going to brawl it out. We're not going to, we're not going to brawl. We're not trying to like uh, one for one and going crazy and, and, you know, like, None of that, right? And let's see. And the thing with Randori, when you do it this way, which I believe is the correct way and the way that you should be doing it most of the time, like unless you're preparing for competition, that's that's another story. Um, but for guys who are who are who are of my age, so we're talking, you know, um, well, I'm 44, so <laughs> I'm getting up there in age, you know. And I know, I know some people are going to say, yeah, you know, you're still a kid. I'm 60. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not comparing myself to a 60 year old, right? I'm comparing if there's all, there'll always be people older than you and there'll always be people younger than you to a certain, I mean, there's a limit to that, right? Like you can't be uh, 10 years old, like, you know, one year old and have people younger than you. You can, but I mean, not by much. And if you're, you're in humans, we only live up till, I don't know, maybe the, and this is like at an extreme, like a hundred years old, a hundred something. I mean, most people, you know, around, you know, the average life expectancy is what, 75 ish or something like that. So, you know, of course, if you're up there, then there's not going to be many people that are, you know, that much older. Anyways, I'm, I'm just, you know, uh, going off on a tangent, but what I'm saying is that for adults, okay. Who have jobs, who have responsibilities, who have kids, who have other things to worry about, who can't afford to get busted up playing judo, then this is the way you should approach it. And I think it has benefits as well. Like, let's say, for example, if you're injured, if you're younger, but you're injured, you know, or you just, uh, you've been training hard, you know, two, three times a week, but you still want to train and you, you don't want to train hard all the time because you don't want to, you want to manage your, your recovery as well. Right. And your, your injuries and whatnot. So then you can go, you ran Dory this way, you go light. Anyways, all that to say that, Randori, when done properly, I mean, you it allows you to get out of your comfort zone and actually try uh, stuff that is not in your usual repertoire, you know? So you're, you're testing things out. You're trying things out. You're perfecting things out. So that way later you can progressively take it to, to the next level until you get to a point where, okay, now you can pull this off and now this is going to be part of your repertoire in competition right? That's if you, if you're competing, if you're not, it's okay, you know, but you, then you can progress it differently. But once you're able to pull these off on somebody about your level or, you know, or higher, or well, usually higher, it'll be very hard, but let's say somebody at your level, you're able to, to pull this off in, um, you know, in, in Randori, then yeah, then you know that, um, you know, okay, the skill is turning into a, this technique or this strategy or whatever is becoming, or tactic is becoming, you know, very ingrained into you and you're, you're able to pull it off. It's legit now, you know? And yeah. So even if you take falls, you fall down, you're going to see, like, I'm not throwing uh, my buddy here at all. Like he's the one throwing my ass all day long. And it's like that in every single Randori. I don't think I've ever thrown to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I've never thrown. I, I was thinking of maybe there was that one time, but no. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you fall. You get back up and that's why the importance of break falling i made a video about that guys so if you if you know how to fall it's no big deal and you're going to notice that high level guys you know unless they're complete douches they're going to throw you and they're going to throw you clean so it, obviously there's going to be power behind it there's going to be speed but then they, they 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 take their foot off the pedal at the right moment and hold you back so they don't 
you know, um, destroy you. <laughs> All right, enough of me blabbing. Let me show you guys the video and I'll continue blabbing on the video. All right, let me show you this, guys. Boom, look at this. All right, let's play the video. Godro. His name is Simon, but you know, he's French. I call so you have to call him. We have to call him Simon. Right? So here we are. Boom. I make an attempt. Of course, he blocked it. My knee was kind of in the way, but it wouldn't have mattered. He would have blocked it anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Sweet. Notice that. So you see, it's not, we're not going that hard. We're not going that fast. Obviously, there's some, we have to apply enough force when we want to do something and we have to go in at a certain speed but look no big deal see fall down get back up and that's the importance of knowing how to fall and not getting hurt and he's very safe like i don't know if you guys notice how how like look at his back compared to mine it's like we're the same i'm a little bit taller but yeah he's a lot stronger so you see i'm tapping i'm tapping he's controlling look how it looks we're not we're not going crazy right and boom, he, he he just threw that. It, he came in, he came in clean, and I got caught, right? And then, of course, we took chat, laugh about it. I remember my competition coach, guys, used to scream at me, tell me, get the hell up and stop smiling and talking and la 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 la. And for a while, I, I believe that was, that made sense, but. No, I'm not like that. Like, I could turn it on when it's competition. And when I'm doing, you know, Randori, like, it's chill. You know, I'm not, if I'm trying to win, it's a different story. But if I'm not, you know, and I'm really trying to develop skill. And here's the beauty of it is that when you do it light like this, look, he's showing me, he's telling me what happened. He's teaching me at the same time. So that's the fun of doing Randori in this spirit. In the spirit of learning, in the spirit of skill development. Look, he's telling me how he did it. And I was explaining to him what I thought I was doing right. And he's like, well, you know, you think you're doing it right, but this is how I perceive it. This is how this could be uh, improved and so on. So we're sharing, we're learning, right? So we take a little break, a little breather. You know, it's not just all about just let's fight, 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 fight. There, there's some talking involved and some teaching, and it, which is very appreciated because you, you learn how, you know, other people do things and you might you'll take and leave what you want. He, he went in there. He went in. He went, ta -ta. He, he went for it. But you see how it's controlled? It's a chess match. I was actually going to do, uh, I was going to try and do a reverse, um, yeah, like that, you know, reverse uh, uh, Uranage kind of thing. I got the name. I should know these names. I got to review my uh, all the techniques from my black belt and all that because I should know this stuff and I will. So there you go. And of course, he timed it perfectly and he came in and he just. Um, she room on my ass. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. So we're working on the grips here. Okay, I was trying to do for a Kataguruma. He saw it coming. He told me after this, I remember. He's like, dude, you gotta. I saw it coming. Like, fake. It would have been really good if you faked it or if you did it, would have been some kind of uh, leg tap or something like that. I, I, it would have, um, it might have passed or at least have a lot. There he goes. See, he told me to do that and do that. So you see, you can kind of. Talk about what went, what uh, we could have done differently, what went wrong, what didn't go, uh, and all, so that I can improve. And you see, and yeah, so he's at a level where, like, yeah, he's not, uh, he's not worried about me. Like, he'll he'll crank it up if, if I start going intense. He's gonna crank it up, but even then, I mean, see how clean that is. There's no, you know, it's beautiful to watch, man. And then he explains to me how he got it done and so on. See, this is how Randori to me should look, right? It's both, and you got to throw stuff. Like, don't be shy. If you throw and you fall, who cares, right? Because if you don't throw, you'll never get, you'll never, never get good at throwing. You'll never, look at that. Boom. Right off my, my, my foot tap. I tap the foot like I usually do because I use that as a jab, you know, like the tapping of the foot sweeps and all. And he just timed that like, wow, beautiful. And sometimes watching these videos, it's it's, it's good because you can kind of see how you look, and 
can make adjustments afterwards, right? And you can compare it with how you used to work. And um, obviously, there's there's always the judo is is a lifelong study, discipline, martial art. And but still, I'm quite happy with the way I turned out up until now. And people look at this, and some people tell me like I, uh, I I've been told that I have a really nice style, a classical style, very judo, very you know. And yeah, I could see it now. I couldn't see it before because I didn't film myself. But now that I film myself more, and there you go. You know, so we hug. You know, it's the end of it. Is it the end? Pretty much. And there you go. So that was that. Let me go back to solo. Okay, guys. So what I want you guys to get out of this is that that's what I believe Randori should look like in judo. So I'll have another video out for you guys soon where I'm going to show you how sparring looks like, how I think it should look like. You'll you'll see me sparring with one of my uh, my buddies. And I'll, I'll do more of these to, to show you guys like, um, you know, like this is really how I go about it. And yeah, I used to go harder, man. Like I, when I started judo, man, I was going hard. My coach back then was, you know, um, well, he was pushing us. And because I had that fire, I wanted to, you know, go hard and compete and get better. And, and so that was part of the, uh, the process. But looking back now, I think that if I would have put in more volume, light volume, and then do keep to, you know, those have those those hard sessions twice a week, but then have an extra two, three sessions of of light randori like this, like light, light, and just working at it, chipping away, chipping away, showing up, chipping away without um, you know, damaging the body, man, I would have uh, I think I would have improved a lot faster. But I'm with two sessions a week for years. That's, you know, I still got pretty, pretty decent at the, uh, for my progression level. Like I, I essentially in competition, um, up until brown belt, I mean, I, I pretty much like beat everybody th that had the same level of progression as me. Then when you hit black belt and you start competing with black belts, it's a different game. Uh, it, it, especially in, in I, and I was competing in, in seniors up until brown belt when i got to brown belt then my coach told me nah it's you got to go masters now man you got to fight with the older guys you know you can't fight young guys who are black belt because those guys have years of experience behind them and you know they're you know you're at a big disadvantage and of course they're they're younger as well well you know it's not the strength for the cardio it's really the experience level and these guys a lot of some of these guys are like full time because they're they're on the team or they're headed there or one of the teams. There's there's different levels, different teams that you could be in in judo, from my understanding, uh, here in Qu Quebec. So yeah, it wasn't a good idea for my progression. But anyone at my progression level up to the up to brown belt, like I did, I did very well. And that was just on two two sessions a week, two hard sessions a week. That's it. Well, there was one that was extremely hard. It was a competition class, and then the one where it was a regular class, but we we're still going pretty pretty hard. Uh, randori at the end so that's that guys so um don't forget to you know like uh like this video if you like it if you haven't already and of course share the video help me grow this for you guys um also if i'm doing this new thing so i'm going to keep announcing it i'll create a post but what it is is that if you guys send me videos that you guys want me to break down of you of uh you know judo stuff whether it be you or just somebody else doing judo Send it to me. I'll be glad to take a look at it, break it down, share it with you guys so we could all uh, support each other and uh, um, improve in our in our martial art, in judo and all that. So here it is right here. You see at the bottom, ogfitness1979 at gmail.com. Um, what I suggest you guys do is that you upload it on YouTube first, right? Put it unlisted, then send me the link by email. Because you're uploading a video and trying to like and trying to send it by by email, it's 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 too big. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen, right? So that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.